Hi, I'm Wade from Confluent. Let's review what we learned in the Apache Kafka for .NET developers course. If you made it this far, congratulations, you finished the course. You've learned a lot of new ideas and you'll want to start making use of them in your own projects. Let's take a look at what we covered. We started by developing an understanding of what event streaming is and why we should be using it. Then we learned about producing messages and we implemented a simple message producer in .NET. We created a separate microservice to consume the messages and we added serialization and schemas from the Confluent schema registry along the way. We then introduced Kafka transactions and practiced some of the techniques we had already learned. So what comes next? Now that you have a basic understanding of the .NET client, you can take that knowledge and start implementing your own production systems. If you still want time to experiment, then you might consider enhancing the application you built here with more functionality. You could try adding more complicated schemas or implementing various delivery guarantees to see how they work. If you want to see more advanced functionality, have a look at the Kafka admin client, which allows you to programmatically manage topics, consumer groups, access control lists, and more. You should also take a look at some of the other courses available on Confluent Developer. You never know what might spark your curiosity. Whatever route you choose, please stay in touch. Reach out to us through our community forums and community Slack channel to keep the conversation going. Or tag us on social media and let us know what you thought of the course. And most important of all, keep learning. If you aren't already on Confluent Developer, head there now using the link in the video description to access other courses, hands-on exercises, and many other resources for continuing your learning journey.